Welcome back to this week's K-pop chart update, where we let you know what's new in the K-pop world and give you the chance to vote for them for our upcoming K-pop Music Monday. Hey, are you new to this program? I should probably let you know then that this video is in playlist mode! So click on the link here or in the info box to view this video in its full playlisty glory. This week's playlist features A Pink Ula La Session, and we're starting off with a brand new group, Hello Venus. Hello Venus released Venus on May 8th, and it already has over 300,000 views and is eighth place on our K-pop charts. I gotta say, we're really disappointed with this video. When we saw the teaser photos, we had really high hopes for an original looking and sounding band. But no, we have yet another overacting super sweet K-pop video. I just don't understand what music producers are thinking. Hey, you know what we should do? We should do something that'll really help our group stand up from everybody else. We should make them do super cute faces like this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, that is really new and original and exciting. Thanks. Oh, and let's give them different color hair. There you go, and that's what makes them stand out. Not their music, not their acting, but their hair. As for the music video concept, I feel like Girls Day, another super cutie band, already did this video concept like twice already, didn't they? Cute girls making cute faces at the camera, over-exaggerating and trailing cutie boys, and popping up behind people and surprising them with their cuteness, and picking up some men that look way too old to be picked up by young girls like that. Seriously, that guy in the car? That's just creepy. The song itself is actually not terrible. I'm so turned off by the music video that it's really hard to focus on the sound. I don't know, maybe I'm just not their target demographic. Maybe you like it a lot more than I do. But if you haven't seen it yet, check out Hello Venus's Venus coming up next.